Yeah. Recording has started. All I've right, forgotten cool. what rhyme you want. A B C A B C D E F G. You ain't no friend of me. There we go. Okay. All right. So, uh, welcome back to the. Uh, well, I mean, for for exactly one of the players, welcome back to the country of Hemlock. Hey. Hi. Uh, for the other two, welcome to the country of Hemlock. Um, it smells like poo. I've seen better. Yeah. I always imagined Hemlock's. Hemlock smelling quite nice, like a sort of clover smell. <laughs> the whole country over. Okay. Yeah. So it's a new it's a new season, uh, new characters. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say it's spring. It's spring. Have we put on another it's... year since the whole uh, incident? A few months. A few, a few months. months. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's spring, and it's ten, and we're in Tensis. We zoom in on Tensis into the town, the town square, the, of this quiet. Uh, I forget what country it was. What, 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 what's the one with all the rivers? Venice? No. Not country. City. Man. No, oh, no, city. Doesn't... City. It's a city style. The one with the... Well, what, what, what's the name of, like, the boat guys? What do they do? Isn't Fuck. that Venice? Gondolas? Gondolas? Gondolas, yes. Yes, <laughs> gondolas. Gondolas. Uh, in... Gondoliers. Uh... Oh, you no, know, yes, Snake was right, it's Venice. Snake was right, it's Venice. Snake was right. So yes, uh, we zoom in on this you know, quiet, you know, Venetian town-like thing with the castle looming in the background. The town square, the market, people going about their business. Your characters are all here. Let's go around the table. We'll start with uh, the senior of the group, Snake. Who's your character? My character is Taz Almond. He is a foreign, he's a scion of a noble house, um, orphaned, kind of brought into the family through sheer luck and circumstance, being in the right place at the right time. That family is in financial dire straits. The head of the family is, the next head of the family is currently trying to be decided and there's kind of factions within the household all vying like, you know, this son, this son or daughter should be the next head of the family. And he was kind of sent off to try and find something that would kind of bring his family a lot of wealth. He is a treasure hunter, archaeologist by trade, so they sent him to Hemlock as a lot of adventurers from his country are being sent there currently. So he is kind of dottering around the marketplace, just kind of talking to any antique deals, trying to find leads, trying to find adventure, essentially. All right. Let's move on to... Uh... Wants to go first, sweet or hallowed? Hmm? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Idea. What if no one went. All right. Uh, you know, I'll I'll flip a coin. Okay. Uh, I choose heads. All right. If it's heads, it's sweet. If it's tails, it's hallowed. It fell on the floor. <laughs> Nice. How about I flip the fidget spinner? Go How about both of you talk at the same what? time? Came up, uh, came up tails. It came up tails. I found it. All right, <laughs> yeah. hallowed, hallowed. Okay, perfect. So, Who, um, who's your character? What are they doing in the market? Where are they? Uh, I I'm playing potentially the edgiest character. Her name is uh, Senka, and she is the the shadow class. Um, she recently um, escaped her family um, who was like, I don't know, experimenting on her or whatever and she got imbued with shadow magic and in the process she killed her father and so now they are looking for her to try and kill her because she's an abomination so she is just kind of trying to blend in with the crowds and appear as unassuming as possible. Is unassuming the right word? Unassuming. Let's go. Mm. E. Hiding in plain sight. Okay. Uh, and now, uh, who are you again? Oh, oh. yeah, Swede. Swede. Ah, yes. I am. My character is Leon Evil Tough. Famed 
adventurer and jackass. I want to he... say Swede was throwing his own character under the bus before I started recording. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but no. He's a... Uh... He's a yeah, adventurer. He's a uh, he, he's an adventurer. Following in the footsteps of his famous uh, father, that Henry Evil Taff, and uh, well, Leon the no- being known for well, being known for being popular among the boys uh, boys and girls, and he's mostly just showing off. I, I, I don't I can I can't don't know what the fuck he say else. F- fucking like I, I I even gave you time to reread your bio. I need you to understand this. And... Yeah, <laughs> but no, like... <laughs> I, I don't like you. Nah, it's, it's Leon uh, Leon Evertaf thinks of himself as a great, cunning, dashing hero adventurer. Lovers in every port, people clamoring to hear his name to shake his hand. But he's actually just I don't know if he's a shit heel. I don't know yet. Oh, he's probably a shit heel. <laughs> All right. Well, so what, what? What's he doing in the town square of Tensis? Oh, you know, he's just having a bit of vacation, taking it easy, looking for his next adventure. All right, and hopefully, adventure he will find. Yeah, I don't find anything yet. Then he walked away. Yeah. All right. Now here's so the part. So is this when I announce that Heather Space tears? Up <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, here's the part where you know I throw an inciting incident. You, you never know what it could be. Heather Space could show up. Godzilla could attack. A Myers could, could show up. A meteor could come down and like crush the city of Tensus, leaving you three as the only survivors. But hey, two of that. those <laughs> are copyrighted for Grimwood. Or or. <laughs> Or Neo, Terry crawls up from underneath the city just with a wrench in hand. <laughs> all right, so uh, a you all of you hear a sharp whistle is blown. Uh, everyone, everyone stands to attention and uh, looks at the direction from which it came. That being the local constabulary. Uh, out. Flanked by uh, two senior policemen, walks Inquisitor Bradley, head of the Tensus Police. Uh, he steps on a podium. He steps on. Uh, he steps to a podium, and addresses you all, and addresses everyone in the town square. Hello, greetings. Hello, uh, citizens of Tensus. Uh, I hate to interrupt your. Marketplace. I hate, to, I hate to interrupt your marketplace activities, but it has come to my intention that there is a there has been a grave crime, and it's one that I'm afraid will require some work outside of the city walls. As you know, we've recently all been hands on. Recently, we've had all hands on deck at the Tensus Police trying to root out a recent surge in underground magical crime. We we're seeing the indeed we're seeing the worst crime surge since that vampire incident a year back. So, I'm going to ha- I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for some volunteers willing to get in the mud, get dirty and see if they can catch a murderer. Any volunteers? <laughs> oh, um, this is this is where Leon suddenly just comes up on on the other side of the stage. A murderer, you say? <laughs> Truly. <laughs> well, you. It seems that you would need a very experienced man such as myself. And he has somehow jerry rigged the light to come from the background. Oh Lying yes, it. excellent. <laughs> what are your credentials? I am Leon Evotaf. A famed adventurer. Do you have any references? Gentleman extraordinaire. Do you have any references? Uh, yes, here they are. He just hands him a note. Right. It, does, it has several references. Do, do, does his character have a note in his inventory? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah? Alright, yeah. Well, Br- Bradley takes it and reads it and says, mm. Alright, uh. I guess, well, I guess we can trust you, but 
I, Perhaps I if some forward. others may volunteer to help him out. I step forward. At this point, I'm just... my In my character's head, it's basically like, well, I could maybe find some useful contacts seeing by seeing All who right. does step forward. Someone who might be useful might join in on this manhunt, and hey, gets me closer to the to the uh, captain of the guard in this city. So yeah, I step forward, kind of say. Bradley, uh, standing on a stage, does not see you step forward as you are very wow. small. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, I pull the I pull the um staff off my back and I kind of wave it in the air a little bit. So it's just a really long stick, kind of poking, because I'm quite small as well. It's just barely kind of eking out uh, over the crowd. Ah, ah, yes, you young man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a child. I kind of, I kind of walk in front of the crowd. It's just kind of, kind of awkward for me to push through because I'm about like <laughs> hip height to most. Ah, oh yes, you're a halfling. My apologies. Shall you be helping this, uh, famed adventurer? Gentleman, <laughs> famed adventurer. Who's that? Uh, it is yeah, I can I can keep an eye I can keep an eye on him. <laughs> I've got I've led some expeditions in my time, so I know how to manage people. I can't like just walk oh. I can't like take the long way around. I don't like clamber up on the stage. I like have to take the long way around, find the stairs. Ah ha, ah, yes. Very good. Is there anyone else willing to leave the safety of the city? Um Senka rushes towards the stage in a Hunger Games I volunteer as tribute type <laughs> manner. Desperate to just take any opportunity to get out. And she goes, yes, me. Ah, hello, young woman. What are your credentials? I suppose I don't have any, but I assure you I'm skilled. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, he looks you over, and then looks at Leon, and the halfling, <laughs> and, and says, Probably the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm entrusting you all to find, a, to find a murderer. If you would, come with me to the constabulary. And uh, he motions you to follow him back to the uh, building he came from, as the... People still stand readily at attention. He snaps his fingers, looks back, and says, Dismissed! And uh, all of them go back to their ramblings. Oh, this would be a good time to be playing Gregor. <laughs> oh my god, Gregor and Leon in a party would be... Yeah. It would probably be hell for everyone else involved. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he, he leads you back in and says, Right, yes, well, I should... <clears throat> I, I, I should trust that this does that this information shall not leave the room until the guilty is apprehended. Of course. Hmm. You can trust me. Right. Well, the victim, so to speak, was actually a prisoner. And uh, he motions you to follow him out of his office towards the jail cells. He's a very high-profile prisoner. One who was caught a year ago. By some very famous people, actually. At least around these parts. And uh, he leads you forward. And uh, he leads you to a jail cell in which you see the shriveled up, bloodied corpse of an old man. So oh my. he was killed in the jail. Yes. No evidence of no evidence left of a break in. We have no idea. All, all all of the guards have all of the guards who were on call that night have been accounted for, and they all have solid alibis. Hmm. I don't know. Um, see the problem here is there's a... I can think of many reasons why someone would want this man dead. You see, he was a vampire. He was caught about a year ago running this odd little gambit to get blood out of some couples merely wishing to take 
to take to partake in a gondola ride. This is One fucked of... up TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I yes, could have been a vampire. Scene. Hallowed and Sweet, for your information, this is something that happened in the in the first campaign. See, I fret this, this old enough. man. Eric's the reason this old man lived. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have no idea why, after a year of living in relative peace and quiet, someone would sneak into the jail and just so brutally murder him. Clearly. Some people just don't like vampires. Clearly, he knew too much. <laughs> and also, he's a vampire, you know. Um, I have encountered vampire hunters before. They do not ca take kindly to vampires, imprisoned or not. It still seems a bit of a stretch to break into a place to kill him. Seems to you be... can never be too sure about vampires. And that's what this leads me to. The only piece of solid piece of evidence we have is there is a distinct trace of magical energy. I managed to isolate it as I am quite well versed in parsing out magical energies. Say no more. It was clearly the wizard who did it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, uh, said magical energy implies that someone used magic to get in brutally slaughter this man, and then leave the city. But the trace stopped cold soon. Uh, the, the, trace caught, the trace stopped cold as soon as I tracked it to the brush. Whoever we're dealing with is very good at covering up their tracks. Now I wish I was playing as Davish, because he's got bloody tracking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Davish. where Snake's character just walks out and says, I, I have an associate that is better for <laughs> I'm going to tag out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's tagging out! Uh, yeah, a meteor comes in and kills, ta and kills Taz. It was carrying an elf on it. <laughs> <laughs> That so, would be such an yeah. elf thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know the worst part about this whole situation, Eric? Is I don't even remember the vampire's name. Wow, such a noble I death. was trying to recall it. John. John the vampire. I just realized I keep notes on these games and I have not opened my notes. Hot diggity damn. Yeah. You still have the notes I sent you from every other session? Hell yeah, I have all of them. I read them all ah. the time, Snake. I... Clearly. Yeah. Jack off to them. Jesus. They're really good notes. <laughs> How come you never kept notes on Grimwood? <laughs> I did. I, you know, I probably will when we get back to it. It's only just in this game I have this idea. It's depressing. <laughs> True. I'm, I'll keep notes if you promise that my character gets a good ending and Mark <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> Alright, yeah. See, see, Eric's just mad because I made a joke about jacking off to your notes when he sent me actual erotica. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize Murray's backstory got that far. It didn't. He's exaggerating. <laughs> okay. So what I get is... Well, the phrase <laughs> balls deep does pop up. <laughs> So, Eric, here's a question. You still want to play maid, I assume, then? Wait, what? Maid? What? <laughs> maid of like maid. Oh, oh, no, I'm GMing maid. I'm not playing. Oh, Any, no. Anywho. So, I'm, I... It's gonna take me a while to figure out a halfling's voice, because I can't change my pitch up. <laughs> hey, Lord! So he's outside the city walls, then? <laughs> I'm just gonna make him a cockney orphan. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go with that. <laughs> Outside the city walls, then is it, Guff? Oh my god, that's the best voice I've ever heard. Oh god, he's gonna like rush out. Like, there's gonna be like a rich guy walking around. He's like, just Snake's character's gonna rush out with a stick and break his legs. Pickpocket <laughs> <laughs> him. <laughs> Snake, why aren't you playing the Horde as just like a, a bunch of Cockney orphan pickpockets? <laughs> 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 oh, 
I think that's a pretty solid the problem is, of that class. The problem is with doing that voice is I have to say a line to get the voice before I can continually speak in it. <laughs> Make him very articulated. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, Bradley uh, looks through the, to the cell and says, If you feel you can divine anything I couldn't, then be my guest. Uh, Neil, may I ask a thing? Yes. Does Bradley here have an eye patch? Yeah. He... Don't worry, sir, we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in fact too. You don't want to look under that eye patch. Yeah. All right. Does he so... also have two swords? I, I no, have he only a has one. How but... come Snake's character image isn't this? <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> 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 if I ever, if my age ever decreases, then we'll go to this. Why do I feel like that's just a NPC background NPC character? Um. Anyway, all right. I'm going to try and discern some realities. I don't have anything that will let. Okay. It's a shame I have not leveled up at all. But this is the first session. But I have abilities that first would be useful the party. later. First the party. Let's do it. Is it bad? Wow, I got one no, question. It's a nine. Okay. Yes, ask, ask a question. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now the hard part. Figuring out what the useful question is here. Okay, well, um, let's go with what here is useful or valuable to me. Aha! Alright. Uh, you notice, uh, on, th on uh, the vampire's throat, uh, a symbol you have seen before. Uh, you know it to be, uh, from a, you know it to be from a very old and widespread clan of vampires. This is an old symbol, this. Hmm? I what see! Are you, what are you old talking about, symbol, says Bradley? Eh? I point, I point him to the, um, to the, sim to the symbol on his throat. This is an old, this is a big old clan of vampires you've got here. Ah. That's the oddest thing. Uh, we've had him in for over a year, and I've never seen that symbol on his throat before. So he was branded, then? I would seem so. Alright, now like let's flash cow. back to Thistlewick and Murray. <laughs> 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 and they both pinned against the wall. Did he have that symbol then? <laughs> no, no. He definitely did not. Yeah. There's actually another symbol on his back, and it's of the Thistlewick School of Blades, and the trick is I'm I going broke, to trick you. I broke into... back in the brand. <laughs> I'm going to trick you into, like, hunting down and arresting Thistlewick. Oh, uh, that's actually cool. I'll do it. I'm down, to, I'm down for beating up Thistlewick. <laughs> I just like realized how all... similar the two voices I have are. <laughs> There's, like, an old sailor tattoo of Murray on his arm. <laughs> no, I think... That's really good. I think what's happened here is the assailant did this to him. <laughs> hmm. That voice, like, has the same effect of Swede talking into a cup for Victor. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Radley looks hmm, well spotted, well spotted. So, we're dealing with a vampire feud then. Um, heretics? <laughs> Not that I have experience, but I think it's hard to get involved in politics from in a jail cell. Oh! He must. Well, he was quite an old vampire. Uh, you know, little, little, little halfling. A um, jail is surely never much of a barrier for politics. Okay, sp spout lore, Swede. Okay. Spout lore. Let me spout some lore. Spouting lore yeah. to his time in jail, when he just got involved in a gang. Uh, We're gonna see fuck? if you know how a feud could possibly reach a man in jail. Horace apparently doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you know, we zoom over to uh, 
Horus, who has been made uh, the lieutenant of the Tensis Guard. Uh, he says he doesn't know, but I I'm assuming you clicked that on your sheet, sweet. Yes, I did. Okay, so yeah, you don't know. You don't. You're, you're talking out your ass. You have no idea how a vampire oh, could possibly get into a perfectly in cell. character. Yeah. Oh, the screen just went white for me. Let me refresh. Nice. He just, surely something could have done it. He just stands there rubbing his shin. I shall use my deducting abilities. Best of luck. Thank you, little man. <laughs> oh no. Wow. There are several. There have been several reports of. Oh, are, you, are you resetting the thing? I I do not know what's going on. Like roll twenty is just white <laughs> for me. I am gonna just close my browser and reopen it. Okay. Keep going. All right. So brother, hmm. Well, there are quite a few different. We've had quite a few different reports of vampire communities in the immediate vicinity of Tenzis over the years, but no telling which one this clan could have come from. Um, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G ain't no friend of me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, he says, hmm, I, I know pretty much all the local reportings of vampire clans hiding in the area, and well, almost, I don't think any of them have borne this sign. You're gonna have to look beyond the immediate vicinity of Tenzis. Senka breathes a sigh of relief. So we're going outside the city walls, Inga. Well, far outside the city walls. Whoever this is certainly isn't in... Well, they're definitely not anywhere from around Atensis. Perhaps, maybe not even from the plains. Hmm. Interesting. Vampires tend to have a lot of old stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll come along. Alright. So yeah, Bradley scratches his chin. You say this is an old, powerful vampire clan then, right? Definitely old. Power I can't say too much of. I think I might know of where you might want to start looking then. He uh, grabs out. He grabs a map. He says, "Recently, some westward explorers have done some cartography of the country of Hemlock, found some more locales, charted more of the map." He points to the rotten step. Right here, ha right here is an area that is known to contain a lot of vile vile energies some as old as, some older than we've ever seen before there have been reports of ghouls of ghosts and of course of vampires what about goblins those too so if you were to start a search i'd recommend starting there but it is quite a ways away are you sure you three are up to it I'm up for anything, good sir. I've walked into danger before, but... If it wouldn't be too much to ask, if we're hunting down something dangerous like this, you couldn't charter some people to escort us. Well, that is the issue. See, the rotten step being west is quite a problem for us. You have essentially two ways of getting there. You can cross through the Parchlands and the Clockwork Wasteland, which is filled with some of the most vi some of the most dangerous locales in all of the in all of the country, and it's quite a long ways around if you want to dodge the wasteland as a whole. But I suppose it can be done. But if you want to get there in a timely manner, well, you'd have to go through the mist. And I'm, mm. and I'm guessing the mist is not great. Well, I've never been myself, but mm. we hear things out of the mist every day. Reports of strange apparitions. 
the only word of advice that has ever mattered for the mist is that perception is everything. It's up to you how you wish to get there, but I'll leave that up to you. But as for sound. but as for es- but as for escorts, I'm afraid I can't spare any police. You'll have to find that your own. So you were saying the, mi- the mist sounds like just a bunch of peasantry superstition. I mean, surely it can't be that bad. <laughs> That's a laugh of experience. (laughs) Why is the janitor laughing at us? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Bradley Bradley shakes his head. He says, young woman, I can only go by what I've heard. That's right. These two don't know. Only Snake understands. Mm. I'm going to to use some metagame knowledge to inform my choice of words here. I'll I'll take you on your word. I'll take you on your word. I'm, I'm with um, the lady here. We should just go for a miss. Supersti- yes. Superstition has never fe- thought, thought made me not to go anywhere. And the dominoes begin to fall. <laughs> we don't have a moray. We don't have a moray. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that, Tuffling? No reason. <laughs> Okay. Right. Well, hey, if, so. you, if you'll want to learn about the mist firsthand, I'll be glad to kill Taz for you to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been threatened with Incubi for my elf character. I didn't really... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. Just decide on your route you're gonna take and do some supply, get some equipment if you want, and yeah. So, here's Maybe. a fun thing about the summoner. We don't start with money. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Maybe even converse amongst each other in character, get to know mm. each other. Mm. You never know. So yeah, ah, you're, yes. you're, you're all, you all walk out of the, out of the police place. The place ah, yes. Yeah. Time to buy something. No, wait, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Listen, you two seem rough and ready, definitely more than me. And I, my name is Taz Ullman, by the way. It's very, very nice to meet both of you. I kind of offer to shake both of your hands. <laughs> Leon Sega just hesitantly shakes your hand. Leon just points to you. Well, m- well met, Taz. I am Leon Eotaf. Well, anyway, I am not so much a frontline sort of person, but if the if that man with the eye patch says that we should avoid the mist, then we should avoid them. Well, I've not. I've changed from a Cockney orphan to whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone posh, like your cowardice came through, and yeah. Cockney is not an accent of cowardice. Yeah. So you got posh. <laughs> okay. So let's go with that. Let's go with this line of characterization in motion. <laughs> <laughs> We should... That when he's brave, he's cockney, and when he's cowardly, he's posh. <laughs> yeah, it actually works with his backstory, funny enough. But we should, we should maybe go south, cut through the Parchlands, as he said, and you know we could just buy a skin of water, and then Parchlands doesn't sound so bad. But here's the thing: will it bring us better adventure? Being alive is a pretty good adventure. Oh, but imagine. Fighting evil, fighting goblins, ghouls. I, I don't think the mist would have goblins and ghouls. I'm thinking it would have something a lot worse. What, like, like what? mist? It's not so much the mist itself as the things in the mist. Air vapor? I'm not scared of air vapor, to be sure. <laughs> Elf, then? Well, you two get prepared. I've I've got experience getting people in and out of dangerous situations before. Aha! See, we can make it. I have a bad Sanka feeling about this. actually does have coin. She has 15 coin. I was just <sighs> from a noble household, just the orphan of household. They didn't give me any money. They sent me on my <laughs> wife. He like, spent all your money getting out. here. 
<laughs> no, they chartered the ship for me in the backstory. Yeah. They just didn't give me any money beyond that point. Alright. Well, I mean, you got your starting supplies anyway. Yeah, I'm so. pretty good in that regard. So do any of you want to go buy something? I mean, Senka, do you want to go buy something since you're the only one with money? Um, I'm always down for buying shit, but, like, what the fuck do we need? Uh, yeah, oh, uh, shit, we gotta get that equipment list. I have it, I have it. I'm gonna nice post suit. it in the Discord. There it is for you. Just, uh... Just... Give it a quick browse if you want anything. Uh, so, you know, if you want a weapon so you can have a different range. And there is, your dagger. There is yeah. a basic move for, like, finding more specific objects in town or, like, maybe custom yeah, supply. objects. Yeah, supply. So just tell me what you want to grab and then I'll tell you if I have to make a supply roll or not. Alright, alright. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to grab another glass of water because my voice is getting a bit... Yeah. Nice. So, Eric, are you appreciating this amazing trap I've laid for them? You two don't understand <laughs> what the. Oh no, is. I understand. Do you? Oh, I, I have a, I have a feeling that it will probably be terrible. But you know, it's fun. It's more like, than fun. Imagine the porn parody of Stephen King's <laughs> The Mist. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Like, okay, I think, was it Snake who failed watch? Uh, yes, yeah, it was, yeah. It was Snake who failed watch. So, Snake failed watch. I rolled six ones in a row on perception checks to resist an incubus, and almost died um, by getting fucked to death by an incubus. Nice. Oh, no. I'm finally just gonna be in a fucking smut game in our side. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, hey, listen. You, not even Snake and Eric fully know what's in store. I, remember, I had three monsters I didn't reveal. Oh. <laughs> Yay. For a reference on how the last party went, in regards to my character at least, there's a... That, that was more or less how things went. The choice, the, the hot dog there is, is... Did you make this yourself? Yes. Of course you did. Where did you post it? In... Oh, oh. In the roll 20. Mm. Hmm. Have you ever put this on... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever put that on TG? Yes. Good. That was what I made it for. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything though. All right. Well then, if that is the case, uh, when do you uh, all set out? And oh, before we go. Oh, before yeah. we go. Yeah. Leon, uh, what was I gonna say? He, uh, uh, he whistles. I can't whistle. And just shout, Nassim! Alright. And, and his fucking st beautiful steed comes. Yep. Senka and Taz, you witness a majestic unicorn uh, galloping towards Leon. And Leo is like, ah, there you are, boy! We're going on adventure! And he sells up. I just yeah. kind of nudge Senka and go, that, that's, a that's a unicorn. I... I think so? Ah, yes! I see you've noticed my magnificent steed! <laughs> yes. Please tell me why you have it. <laughs> why not? I met him! I saved him! Did you just, like, glue a horn onto his head? No! It's... It's, <laughs> it's a real unicorn! I don't have know you never if I seen... believe that. Have you never seen a unicorn before? No. No. I've never left the city walls. They're on my country's flag, but... That's about it. Ah, uh, you see, Nassim. People here are weird. Grab your scene unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> why are you talking to your horse? Because he... Why wouldn't I talk to my horse? He's my companion! Yeah. 
It nays understandingly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking little litten entry right there. <laughs> So I didn't realize Swede was playing a brony. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's official. I'm officially picturing your character as writing, um, what's the one? Um, no, Twilight fuck Sparkle. You. Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. Damn. Fuck you. Doesn't she have wings now? Uh, wait, does she? I think she does. Okay, what What was the other unicorn? Rarity. Oh, was the Rarity, other. yes. Yeah. Rarity. No, fuck you. I'm not riding some fucking pony here. It's too late. No, hey, sweet, I'll, I'll drag my character through the mud as well, if it makes you feel any better. He's really into, he'd really be into Sonic the Hedgehog games. <laughs> if they were real. In this <laughs> universe. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, shall we set up... Oh wait, you don't have mounts, do you? Oh, by the way, by the way, um... Uh, I just want to let you two know, uh, Senka and Taz. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the unicorns' first move in mounted combat, discerning beast. When you ride a unicorn, everyone assumes you are completely pure of heart. Bullshit. Does that include <laughs> us? <laughs> you can't put that on the player characters? <laughs> God, Neil, what was that book? What was that? You know, we'll, 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 we'll treat it in like the masked mage sense, where if you have a history with him, then Fair. you can decide that you don't buy it. <laughs> what was the thing with the unicorns again? Actually, uh, it's in mounted combat. You have two. Your unicorn. Your your unicorn has two moves. Uh, it has. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I found it. Hallow right, drop. Oh. I can oh, no. like, skip us. <laughs> Oh, for a second I thought Eric was gonna say I can jump in. Well, no, I was just gonna um get the like mounted combat thing and post it or post a direct screenshot of the unicorn into here so you could make. Uh, what happened? Oh yeah, that would be nice actually. I uh, sorry. What happened? Oh, um, I got a phone call. Nice. Uh, all right, so uh, yes. You have two moves. Uh, what, discerning Beast, when you ride a unicorn, everyone assumes you're fear of heart. And Healing Horn, when your unicorn assists someone dis uh, assists someone's attempt to heal or recover from an injury, poison, or disease, add the unicorn's control stat into all rolls and hit points are gained. Nice. So if I use my spirit to heal and the unicorn somehow, or can only Leon Evertaf pull that? No, 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 the unicorn can help. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Well then, off to adventure! Also, you can have one passenger. Do you oh, just I say, like, off to adventure and you just speed off ahead of us? <laughs> yes. I, I thought you one passenger has meant, like, one only passenger. Us. Yeah, you can yeah. have one other person on with you. So he can take... He can speed off with one of you and leave the other in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> the other one needs... The other one walks. <laughs> Hmm, who do you- who do you snub? Swede, who do you snub right now? Oh, it's it. Miss Senka, you wanna- want a ride? Wow, what a white knight. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's literally wearing shining armor, Eric. Wow. It's in his inventory. Holy fuck. <laughs> 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 so yeah, how does Senka respond? Um... Yeah. She, well, considering that she's um, of noble born, I think she was expecting this a little bit, so she graciously accepts nice. and climbs on. Yes. You can feel Not the magic of the unicorn. <laughs> it, it, it definitely feels real. Leon can feel me staring daggers at him and tapping my foot impatiently. No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Just, I'm just, just get a wooden <laughs> cart and like a attach it to the unicorn so that you're like riding along with it. I don't have the money for a cart. <laughs> <laughs> just get some plywood. Just get some scrap plywood. Would you let me Leon. make a, a, a check to construct a fucking cart? No, no, no. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, I think you need to get. Uh, I need to. Uh, Neil, I think you need to throw in a random encounter where we can in attempt to catch another mount for this halfling. 
Oh, well, either way, I I guess I'm walking alongside the horse. Yeah. Yes. So Maybe it's, it's up here. So it's time for a perilous journey. Uh, what route are you taking? Mm -mm. All right, now all our discussions earlier. Do you two fuckers want to learn about the mist, or do you want to live? <laughs> I mean... I'd like... I... I think I want to take the mist since you're you're playing it up. <laughs> All right, fine. Session I, one, I level one, market. You don't know how nice I can be. It's <laughs> <laughs> a statement. All right, yeah, let's do this. All, All right. right, so who's who's Navin? Who's scouting? Who's quartermastering? Mm -mm -mm. So. What's all yours intelligences? My intelligence uh, is eight. I thought it was wisdom, though. Uh, <laughs> Not well, for Navin. It's, 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 it, yeah, it's navigation. Uh, both Senka and Taz have the same intelligence. Okay, one of you can decide. Uh, I have... Alright, uh, so now we'll do wisdom, then. So, my so just throwing it out there. Uh, if, if Senka's the one on the horse, uh, I, I think Taz should be the one scouting. Fair enough. Personally, I that's will... just what that's just what makes sense to me. No, that's yeah. fair. I will scout. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm leading from the front you, as the worst that leaves fighter. Leon to dole out food. Nice. <laughs> While right. Wait. Yeah. Wait. What, what was that again? I, it's uh, that's while. wisdom. That's wisdom. Okay. That that's the one that's. Wisdom. So yeah, Taz and uh, Leon roll wisdom, and Senka roll int. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Senka. This is my first time doing a yeah. thing, so how do I do this? Uh, open up your character sheet, uh, yep. and click on the dice below until next to one int in, their, in your stats. Wait a minute. Oh, no! Nice! Very good. Go me. Yeah. So what are the options again for the scouting? Uh, Wow, I can't believe you've already forgotten. I'm sorry, man. I don't. Eric was always whatever lies ahead. Um, discover, make yeah, a discovery. Yeah, discern a beneficial aspect of the terrain. Get the drop on whatever lies ahead. Mm. You notice a sign of a nearby danger, or you make a discovery. Well, um, oh, uh, uh, get the drop in discovery. Nice. Oh, well, that was my two that I picked. I know, really it's, every and time. that's how we didn't die because you picked them. All right, but for hey, discoveries like almost killed us several times. That's true, but you've got to pick discovery. It's like, yeah, it's correct. So yeah, so as you ride gallantly into the mist, Senka looking over Leon's shoulders and uh, discerning the path to take. I should uh, mention I have a map <laughs> with Taz somehow. Uh, scouting ahead, despite not being on a horse, I said he's on foot, but <laughs> he's very it, fast. Can we have it so that my spirit can carry- let's not do that otherwise, because then no. I can just bullshit you when I get flying. So yeah. I like how not only he's ahead of the horse, but he's also, like, the <laughs> short one with, like, his little stunning- <laughs> shit combat ability, he's meant to be, like, expedition- Well, hey, hey, you know, you, he went- he went into- you know, you're going into the mist, there's not much visibility, so Nassim's being very slow and careful. Hmm. Uh, so da, 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 da. let me find a thing. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to see. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's we're a bonus re move we're relearning. For, like, uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. We're good. Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna make. A, uh, discovery roll. I should actually ask, are we making the discovery before we hit the mist or in the mist? Or are you want to withhold uh, that in information? Mist. Okay. In the mist. Alright. Yeah. Just, just let's say you should be very thankful for that navigation uh, roll. Hmm. It also does just mean that, like, my discovery <coughs> is me just walking face first into it. Okay. Alright, Snake. So roll a 3d12. Let's do it. Okay. Tell me how the fun part. No, this, this is Snake doing it. He's the oh, one who I makes the discovery. Oh, I thought you said Snake. And no, I was like, no. that's a little rude. <laughs> Alright, so we have 8, 10, and 11. Alright, you'll get to see firsthand how this works. Hallowed for the first time. My username actually is a little unfortunate, considering that. Oh. Just start calling me Taz. 
right. How about call you Fisher? Don't or call or me by I my could just assume that we're not calling my character Sink. Yeah. Just stop calling me Muff. How about <laughs> Alan Robert? I'll call you Alan, yeah. What about C? Did you ask for more roles, Neo? Uh, I'm about to. Okay. I'm, well, I'm we fucking about to, Snake. If, if you'll let me get to it, Jesus. I wasn't interrupting you, I thought we talked over you saying more roles. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. Um, roll a, roll a d12. Oh man, is the succubus coming already? <laughs> wow, okay! That's... Ooh. Ooh. So, Eric, I just have a question. Yeah. How fast was it was the Neo to throw succubuses at you? Not very. Thank you, uh, we oh, had to go was... here first, and that was a good few sessions so, in. Oh, let's see. It, it all happened because Murray flirted with one dude, and then, like, Neo just decided, you know, all bets were off. <coughs> and clothes. At least he didn't get. Well, you did you. get. You did get the drop on it. So, uh, <laughs> hmm. uh Taz, you notice it's a head a in the mist, uh, a shining, s some bright shining lights round about over here. Well, hmm. I'm not going to approach them. Just a brilliant glimmer. I shield my eyes. Like it, no, like awe-inspiring. Am I l being awed and inspired by them? Yeah, it, 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 it just it seems whatever is over there must be truly magnificent. Oh, I'm not going there without the party. I'm gonna be a boring. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You can wait for them to catch up. Yeah, I, I wait for them to catch up, and I don't think I need to point it out. <laughs> yeah, Senka and uh, Leon, you both notice a brilliant glow in the distance. Ah, I see. I'm it's, I'm expected. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Nassim? Uh, Nassim neighs sarcastically. <laughs> and shut up, you. I just, I'm not. I just say. Yeah, we should we should ignore that. We should we should keep keep walking. Keep keep going. Just where's your sense of adventure, boy? It's in that direction. I say, pointing <laughs> pointing west. <laughs> Wait. So are we in the mist right now? Yeah, you're in yeah. the mist. You're about a ways in, right over here, and there's a brilliant glow out west, which is where you were going anyway. Oh, it is towards mm. the west. Bugger yeah. me! Yeah, you said we oh, should shit. give that the we should give that the uh, a wide berth. I'd say a wide berth. What do you say, Nassim? Should I listen to the halfling? Uh, Nassim neighs dismissively. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I never real. I never realized that unicorns are a lot like elves. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insult. It is. So, do any of you look closer? I think you should. Be brave. <gasps> I'm Obviously. not here to face the rest. <laughs> Obviously, Leon is like, I shall inspect this! Right. Sink oh. jumps off the horse to let I think Leon go ahead. Are... Yeah, I think you two should, like, yeah. not. I think it should just be Leon. <laughs> okay, so Leon, as uh, you move forward with uh, Unicorn, minus one Shadow Girl, uh... You uh, see a gigantic pile of just gold, jewels, uh, all the riches in the world. Ri more riches than you've ever seen in one place before. You've been in castles and you've not seen this, mu this much brilliant, this many brilliant jewels and precious metals. I want to actually say, just ahead now, if this turns out to not be bullshit, I will be madder than if Leon dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my! There sure is a lot of gold here! Hmm. It's just I a bunch of Spandau I... Ballet singles. Hmm. I could... You know, I'm just gonna grab a few coins. I don't need much. <laughs> Alright. 
So, uh, as you draw what? closer, uh... Well, give me a second, Neil, actually. Yeah. I've played Shiver and Isles, I know where this is going. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we have something, what's this? True love and high adventure, when you attempt to enact a daring plan, or defend the honor of a friend or lover and gain free. Oh, okay. Your daring plan, picking up some gold in the middle of the desert. <laughs> it's... Oh my god, I was more right than I realized. <laughs> No, okay, see, like, I've used Perilous Wilds as well, so I have a vague idea of what those numbers mean, and I, I, I looked it up, and I was more right yeah. than I realized. Alright, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, uh... <laughs> oh, Eric, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as you draw closer to the gold, you reach out to take a coin. Out of the pile pops a stocky, bald man. Ah. And he screams in your face, IT'S MINE! Oh, uh, uh, pardon me, good sir. I mine, it... mine! 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 And uh, uh, as he keeps screaming and screaming, the gold coins start to move and take shape. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> yeah. Just cut to us two. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> that seems about right for what I was thinking. Uh, and as uh, you step back, the gold takes shape into the, the form of what seems to be the head of a giant dragon. And it roars in your face. What do you do? Oh, oh. What do you do? <laughs> oh, it's... This is the time to take out my d rapier. Ha ha! It's a fight you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun knowing yeah. you, Leon. I really. The, like the, the, the stocky yeah, bald on. man is currently on top of the head of the gold dragon, and uh, is still shouting that it's mine, 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 mine. Nasim, ha ha, Nasim. Give me a boost. Actually, I'm gonna use Daring Devil for this. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna po point this. Use. Uh, okay. Dare daring devil, you laugh when you laugh confidently before before me a crazy acrobatic feat. Describe it and roll plux dex. So what are you doing? I'm got. I basically have to roll. Okay, basically, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my horse. My oh yeah. my dear unicorn, and we're gonna do a team attack where like. He, he boosts me, and basically boosts me so I can jump towards the man up on top of it. Alright, so, and I'm assuming you're taking your plus one from, uh, your three hold? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Alright, so, roll dex, and we'll add a one. Alright, very good. Nice. Suit. Choose three. Oh, uh, ten plus, choose three. Okay. I, of course I end up exactly where I am. <laughs> Don't attract unwanted attention. Excuse me, all attention is wanted here. Alright. <laughs> and I, of course, I bring the man. Oh, wait, does that mean... No, he's, he's, already, nearby? he's already on top of the... Oh, so, so wait, it's someone nearby. Can I bring my horse up there? <laughs> Grab your horse by the neck and just carry him up as you clap around the dragon. <laughs> that's, um, I don't understand how you, that, like, physically, no, like... No, you're... that's what, that's, I'm just joking, like... It says right. so nearby, and I assume so they're not gonna... nearby. So yes, you're gonna take a plus one then, forward? Yeah. yeah. Alright. I'm, go... I'm gonna say, ha ha! Absolutely, you're on top of the dragon's head, facing the bald man who is still screaming. Uh, oh. So, a uh, quick smash cut over to Senka and Taz, uh, just kind of standing still awkwardly, hearing like a loud roar in the distance. Should, what do you what do you two do? Should should we help him? I, I feel he I, deserves whatever's about to happen, but that sounded bad. Uh I guess we could at least see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Just give me give me a second. I I like pull out a crowbar out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna summon. Oh nice. Alright. Okay, so my summoning implement is 
the a celestial crowbar, otherwise known as the world wrecker. So I just kind of like slam the crowbar into what looks like thin air, and I'm just gonna try and tear open a hole for my spirit to come through. Senka just kind of watches on in horror and curiosity. Let's see if I get a good roll. Tear open the fabric of reality. Wow, I don't. No. You I don't think tear it's open still. The fabric of reality. Hmm. It doesn't say what happens if you just. I guess it just doesn't. I just like awkwardly tear open a hole and nothing comes out. Like I just kind of like poke my head in a little bit and then pull uh, it BR, out as it slams BRB? shut. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm. I'm practically useless to you then if I can't get this thing going. See, uh. what I. I'm. I'm looking forward to in this fight is just seeing how long it takes for all of you working together to do the equivalent of, like, one surprise drop kick from Murray. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get it. Murray was good. Murray was running this world on easy mode. Alright, okay, I'm back. Uh, so, I yes, failed uh, to summon. It just... So, hmm. Hmm. You attempted to tear open the fabric of reality in the mist and failed. It doesn't say what <laughs> happens on a mist, hmm. for your information. I know it doesn't say. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. Uh. uh you're a level one character, I'll leave you alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try... How long do you think I should take, like, someone else to make a move before I attempt this again? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you... You can you can attempt you can attempt it again when you arrive on the scene of the battle. Yeah. Okay. I just I right. I just turned to Zenger and like I'll, I'll I'll try this. You know, second time's the charm when I'm facing down whatever's in that light, and I just start running off as fast as halfling legs will carry me. All right. <laughs> um, Senka follows after. Yes. 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 All right. So. Uh, we cut back to, uh, this, uh, rather epic scene of Leon facing off against this old man half buried in the head of a dragon made of gold coins. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my hack and slash at him, basically going, I'm guard! <laughs> alright, alright, roll it. And just go check something. Dueling Rapier, it still uses strength, right? Uh, is Dueling it precise? Rapier is precise, so it's dex. Yeah, yeah it's precise. Alright, so roll dex instead of strength. Ho-ho! Ha-ha, very nice. Alright. Uh, roll damage? Yep, yeah, roll damage. Alright, very good. Uh, you, uh... Slice into it. You slice into the man. Uh, he bleeds uh, molten gold. And scream some more. Nice. Yeah. My lord. And... He's he's a man made of gold. And uh now he uh looks at you with fury in his eyes, the likes of which you've never seen, and you know, breathes in and uh barfs at you essentially. A stream of molten gold is is about to strike you. What do you do? Oh, obviously. Um, he's gonna dodge gracefully. Very well. All right. Uh, roll, roll. defy danger. I mean, actually, give me a second. Yeah, defy when danger. You... Uh, yeah, yeah. You can spend one hold on this as well. You have three. I'm just gonna check parry. Uh, you the parrying this might be tricky. Yeah, not impossible within the thing of the rules, but. I'm just checking in Actually, the no, we went over this because my character had parry. Parry isn't a reactive move. When oh, okay. Yeah, 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 it's not a reactive move. It's something okay. you do intentionally. So, yeah, oh. just defy danger with dexterity. Uh, and Tool! All right, are you, I'm assuming you had your plus one on that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, wait, plus one. So, uh, you spent, yeah, yeah, yeah one from one. your hold. From uh, dar from uh, your take uh, whatever the fuck when you enacted oh, yeah. your daring, daring plan. Daring yeah, now you, yeah, so now you have uh, one hold left for that. Uh, but no, you managed to bump that up to a partial success, so good for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can escape taking damage, but uh, it'll 
melt away your armor, <gasps> reducing your armor by one. <gasps> you, are you, will you take that? I can never let my shiny armor fucking get go destroyed. Would you rather see what this thing's damage dice is? Oh no, now do you take <laughs> that? <laughs> my shiny armor, or life! You can get it repaired, don't worry. There's always, uh, yeah, there's always I'll, spit shine. I'll, I'll, let my, I'll let my fucking armor t go down with one. Yeah, so yeah, your armor just kind of melts away. You have to like quickly take it off, it's kind of burning. Like, ho ho ho! Ho ho! Yeah. <laughs> just, it lands in front of a seam and it's like... Uh, yeah. So, uh, at this point, I say Senka and uh, Taz arrive on the scene. Okay, um, so I step out of the bush and, or brush, the brush surrounding foliage, whatever, um, and see this the monstrosity. Thick, the thick mist, yeah. The thick mist, yeah. I assume, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. This that place makes is pretty much a dead desert, place. I assume, like, just mist and sand and shit. Um, I imagined kind of a swamp. Um, it, it's it's kind of sandy. Okay, I I step out of the thick mist through the sand um, and see this monstrosity and kind of Senka's Senka's a little scared right now because she's she's a noble child, um, but she's going to use um, thank you uh, shadows made real um, to bring her shadow friends into reality all uh, right so i think i roll like what my wisdom uh well well you can just well manifesting them is free that's a free action manifesting so free. what do your two physical shadow forms look like um they look like um to the the silhouette of two very tall spindly um two very tall and very thin spindly um humans um only their arms like extend all the way to the ground and their fingers kind of like almost root into the earth but not Ooh. actually because they're shadows it just has that appearance uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna try and find something. Because uh, uh, I'm kind of imagining as like a, a quick approximation. Uh, I'm gonna post it in the Discord. Uh, this. Let's go to Discord. Kind of like that, only longer arms. Nice, alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so, uh, let me go to the Shadow and Playbooks. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna be kind of crowbarring at reality for most of this fight, I feel, just getting really <laughs> bad luck rolls. Alright, uh, okay, you're. Uh, Alright, so they each have 3 HP, and you can, if you want to bid that, alright, and basically, what do you want them to do? Um, I, I guess I want them to attack. Attack the dragon, alright, so roll your wisdom. Okay. <coughs> uh, what'd you roll? A 9, alright, so, uh choose one of those three options um i'm gonna go with uh they do class damage with um what is forceful and messy For okay so uh forceful uh, so close reach and near our ranges uh right. but forceful is uh basically it has like that has a blowback to it you know they'll be knocked on their ass, or if they're particularly large, you know, knock the wind out of them, move them around, basically. It's a, you know, like, throw them to the wall, that kind of thing. And messy is, like, tearing out, like, their jugular, you know, ripping limb from limb, shit like that. 
So does Messi like do more damage? No, it, it doesn't uh, no, no, do no. more damage, but it causes like more narrative damage. So like, yeah, yeah. So like, so like narratively, it'll have like a, a disability. So it's just like really. So, cool. so like, so like, say like I could like, I could tell you like you use Messi and like you rip off its head or something. Or like okay. you cut off a hand or something like yeah, that. So, yeah, you know, and, and that can have an actual mechanical effect. Like if you cut off your hand, that would or cut off their hand, they can't use that hand, obviously, and that falls under the messy tag. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, in that case, um, I'll give them uh, reach and messy. All right. So they're attacking from a distance, and they're fucking something up. All right. So uh, roll your damage. All right, and I it's click the dice button point. next to damage, right? Yes, yes. This is so easy. All right, five damage. And uh... now is that five damage each or five damage in total? It's f uh, I'll say it's five damage in total. Gotcha. I'm gonna try and bring bring Goldfinger into reality again. Summon up. All right. Okay. Well. Uh. But first off, let me describe this messy thing. Sure uh, thing. So yeah, your shadows. Uh. Like with their otherworldly power, reach out. Uh. Uh. Their shadow forms taking on all manner of unholy uh, apparitions at the end of their long appendages. And they rip this gold dragon's head off. It just falls to the ground with Leon and the man buried inside of it in tow. Uh, falls to the ground, collapsing into gold coin. Leon and the man are none the worse for wear. Oh-ho! Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What do you do, Taz? I just, um, well, first I yell at Leon... We shouldn't have come here! And then I just start crowbarring reality again. Alright, <laughs> yes. try and summon. Please give me something. Yeah, and it comes out two packs with no defects, so... Very good. I will copy and paste the description. Ah, don't be, don't be more. I'll read out, I'll read out, but it's just, it's a, bit, what happens. it's a bit wordy. So, yeah, I just plant the crowbar into, it looks like I'm just pulling it in the air, but, you know, there's force, there's force there. I tear a kind of black rift in the air, and a hand just kind of reaches through and just pulls it open. A spindly kind of hand made of gold. Um, and out comes this black spectral figure wearing kind of red regal capes, wearing a shattered crown on its head. A pair of reddish eyes looking out. The arms are made of royal scepters with kind of goblets making up kind of elbow joints. The hands are formed of kind of cut silverware, golden cutlery. Um, it is this weird, regal-looking figure? Nice. Damn. And cool. um, kind of golden coins and jewels kind of float around the arms, or basically uh, approximate arms. Okay, thanks. Just random thought. Your alignment's bullshit. Like it's literally just something from end of session. I know, what the, what but it's the, the best fit for the character. <laughs> I know it's bullshit. I c we could make it more particular. It could be like, it has to be an occult discovery, because it's called Study yeah. the Occult. Like, it has to be a new discovery. Uh, like, Eric, do you know what it is? It's learn something new about the world. It really <laughs> just is. It just basically means I get 2 huh. XP when that happens, if that happens. Right. We can make it more specific. We can All workshop right, yeah, it. Yeah. If you yeah, like. It has, to, it has to be something esoteric. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just learn like a political thing. Yeah. It okay. Has to... So. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Goldfinger emerges from the tear in reality. And I guess the first thing I will do is, it has the near tag. So it has the near tag from the warlike tag. So this thing attacks at range. So I basically stand back like as far back as I can without exiting what constitutes the arena. And I'm gonna flail at the man. I'm gonna. I've got a reason that must be what's controlling this figure. So I'm gonna steal some of Leon's glory. All right. So I roll plus packed when commanding it. So I got two packed at the moment. So that's two d six plus two. 
Okay. Nice. So yeah, the command is executed without issue. I tell Goldfinger to strike, and the arm kind of like flails out, extends. It feels like just more and more like scepters are just extending this thing like way, way out. And then it just like swats. It swats at the man before Leon. <laughs> Cut nice. Him. Right, roll that damage. It's a d8, right? It's a d8 for spirits, d6 for me. So, yeah. Four damage to the guy. Alrighty. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, alright, cool. So, yeah, uh, he, the, the man and the dragon, uh, the he now headless gold dragon, look at the two of you. Uh, the gold coins kind of, you know, merging it together again to fix the quote unquote wound that the shadows gave it. Uh, and they both scream at you. And uh, out of the dragon's belly, uh, gold coins move and sh move and take shape into that of a giant fist, and rush towards uh, Senka's shadows, her two shadow friends. Okay, okay, I have a. Uh, oh, you have something you want to do, Swede? What is it? I'm gonna use my plan of action. Ooh, all right. Also, since I'm human, you're especially resourceful when you use plan of action. Take plus one to any roll used by to uh, made to use hazard created by the move. But basically, there's something around the, this area that I need to think about that I can use. The giant fist flying towards Senka's shadows is one thing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there's I'm a like... lot of like gold, jewels, and treasures around. You can just. Pull hmm. something out of your ass going off of that. I'll let you. So, the, the, the man controls the thing, right? Yeah. Well, 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 as far as you can tell. I I see about... Oh, I know exactly what I'm... No. I know exactly what I see. I see that the, somehow... Somewhere, there's like a treasure chest above him, like leaning on a little rock or something. And Leon, being the quick-witted man he is, he's gonna, he's gonna basically use that, make it fall on to the man. Uh, and how are you gonna do that? With dexterity, of course! What? I gotta throw, throw your sword at it? Uh, you yes, I, right. I'll, throw, I'll throw my hidden stiletto. Aha! All right, yeah, sure. Roll dex, roll volley. Hey. Uh, oh yeah, it's a plus eight. one. Yeah. So. so nine. Uh. So let's see. Volley. Uh, you have to choose one, but I'm not gonna let you choose mark off ammo. So do you take minus d6 damage, or do you uh put yourself in danger? I'll put myself in danger. All right. Uh, so you have to move a little bit to strike at this chest, uh, yeah. and you kind of step into like a more molten part of the gold. Well, not molten. It, it won't. It's not hurting you, but you're kind of stuck there now. Yeah. Oh. yeah you, you 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 suddenly it's like you're like in quicksand. You can't move. But yes, the treasure chest falls on his head. Deal dam the roll your damage. Boink. Yeah, and uh, the fist uh, struggles for a bit and like stops just short of uh, hitting Senka's shadow creatures. But it nice. is quickly, you know, regaining its. Uh, the man screams and the fist is shaking, but it's about to still strike them. So Senka, what do you what do you do with for your shadows? Considering that um, the fist has been like slowed or is off balance or whatever, can I have my shadows dodge out of the way? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, roll wisdom for that. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So, uh, 
since that's a partial success, how about this? I will let one of them escape. All right. But the other one doesn't. All right, so yeah. One of them is unfortunately hit. The other one, you know, blurs out of the way. And, oh, uh... Were there not three of them, or did one of them go on the... No, no, mind? there there are two. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, and uh, you're, the one that was hit just instantly disperses back to the Shadow Realm. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they only have three health each, so... Yeah, that's true, but still. Yeah, and don't worry, it's not permanently dead. You can always recall it when you have time. Yeah. Um, so... Am I am I still allowed to attack with the other one, or do I have to wait another? Uh, there's no initiative. No, you, it's you, just you, when you there's decide no to initiative. act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still attack. It's basically you just on a rules. Do you want the other one to attack? Go ahead. I do. All right. Okay. Let's Don't do it. feel like shy about interrupting when you have an idea. That's basically these sessions. Is uh, us talking about oh, oh no! Don't roll damage. Uh, right. Yeah. Roll, roll wisdom. To I already, I already rolled wisdom. I was All right. Like, so, obviously, yeah. it's fine. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. So, uh, choose one. All right. Um. Find those again. Um. I I guess I'll take the the same as before. Class damage with um, reach and uh, messy. All right, uh, roll your damage. Uh, huh. Right, well, uh, your shadow, uh, kind of, you know, reaches its arm into the fist and, like, expands its arm inside of it, and the fist just kind of, like, explodes into gold coin that all, you know, start going back to the dragon to get back into its body. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the man and the dragon are still screaming in unison. Uh, do you have anything who we want to do, Taz? Um, I can't, I'm still kind of observing. I am, you know what? I am going to discern realities, because we don't discern realities during combat ever, so it could be fun. Alright. Okay, eight. So, um... I'll go with the same. Go with the same old one. Let's go with you know what here is useful or valuable to me. Uh, you've been studying this thing's movements for a while. Uh, from what you can tell, it's not that the guy in the dragon has control over the dragon. It's more that they are the same creature. Okay, so so cut yeah. off the head and the body will die. Uh, well, no, more that. It doesn't matter where you attack it. They're both the same thing. You're not dealing with two different entities. Okay, right. So, now, she, so but that's kind of what I was saying. It's just basically what is less risky to go after an attack. Yeah. But yeah, I do kind of yell out. Just, I just yell, just kill the guy. Just kill the guy on top. <coughs> kill the bloke. And I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have Goldfinger strike at him again. All right. Another command. More than, more than, oh more yeah, than. actually, I do want to point out for the fiction because I don't have the move where I could speak like uh, telepathically with Goldfinger yet. I am yelling, Goldfinger, strike! As All I right, do everything, very good. <laughs> so it can hear me for the record. There you go, two d six. All right, roll that d eight. Oh, nice. Go. I'm going for the eyes. Yeah, just, uh, you Actually, get no, a massive, the yeah, you get a massive blow in, and the whole dragon and the man just stagger. Uh, in fact, like, uh, Leon, like, you see, like, the gold holding you, holding you in place kind of move away from you as you feel your movement free up. Oh, and, I'm, uh, I'm taking off my leg. the whole dragon staggers. All right? I'm pulling up my leg, it's like, oh! Yeah, and uh, it's, it seems dazed now. I uh, Actually, I do want to point out something on my character's backstory. So, I don't know how you all, if you all allow this Neo thing, but um, my character it doesn't go for lethal strikes very much. I don't know if he'd consider it on this thing, considering the size of the threat, but I typically go for, like, blunt KO moves with Goldfinger. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, don't yeah. worry, don't worry. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what do, you, do you have anything you want to do, Leon? Yes, 
since he's free, he's gonna jump towards the man and he's gonna roll uh, hack and slash again. All right, do it. Roll that dex. Ho-ho! All right. Come on, damage. Roll your damage. Ho-ho! Full on! So, uh, you stab right into- you basically, uh, do get really flashy, jump forward, and, like, completely rip your sword, just go from his head all the way down to where his torso disappears into the gold, slice him right in two. And, uh, blood- his molten blood spills out and hits you in the face. Ah! Oh, my beautiful face! Oh, no! <laughs> How much damage do I take? <laughs> You're lucky this is him dying. Uh, you take 12 damage. Fuck me. Yes, and uh, you're scarred. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, nice. My kill yeah, is it leaves not... a noticeable burn on your face. Ah! Uh-uh. Nothing! But... Yeah, but yeah, uh, like the whole dragon just like, and the man scream and just blood curdling agony. The pulse basically all it just basically explodes, and uh, in a brilliant blinding flash of light, and uh, there is no more gold left. There is not except for one noticeable glimmer that is left, and it is a crown. I'll be taking this fucking crown. <laughs> oh, of course. All right, so you pick up the crown after treating, after nursing your burn wound. Yes. And as soon as I picked it up, I turn around to Nassim like, "How bad is it?" Nassim uh, winces. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, but you pick up the crown. Yes. All right. When you pick up the crown, uh. You feel very attached to it. Mm. In fact, you get the feeling, oh my god, this must be the most fashionable thing in the universe. Ah, yes! This will make me look... This will, this will, Wearing this will make everybody think that I am the king of... the. Whole, wearing this will make everybody see me for the king that I am. Yes, king that I... Wait... What? Well, you know, for the for the heartthrob that you are. Ah, yes. Silly voicing head. Good thing yeah. he grabbed that. So, yeah, do you put it on? Mm, nah. Alright. <laughs> All that build up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's um, like... It, actually, it's like... Uh, roll wisdom. Oh. Mm, no, you put it on. Eh, might as well. Yeah, Everything. you feel you, you feel beautiful. <laughs> Jump up, pretty and witty. That's Jump it. up on Nasima, like yes, yeah. look at me. So, uh, in fact, while, wait, wh- while you're while you're wearing that, uh, you'll be taking a. You know what? While you're wearing that, uh, you'll be taking a permanent minus one to any role made in which you have to vocally interact with somebody. What? But you will take a plus one to any role you make where you just have to look the part. What? That's cool. That's a, <laughs> that's a hell of an item. I want this a uh, gun. So, essentially, uh, you you have you you'll be making great first impressions, but the moment you open your mouth, everyone will find you obnoxious. So it's just sweet times two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get rid of this fucking. Hey, hey, we're making uh... good first impressions now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want this fucking thing anymore. I, I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm not helping him with that, but I do yell gold injection, and I'm gonna try and heal Evertaf. All right. <laughs> Let me just roll my command quickly. It's a good thing the I brought. Nassim, help! To help heal. his, uh, help his flying stand. Oh thing. yeah, nice. All right, yeah. he gets um. Swede, you get eight health back. Nice. Basically, what happens yeah. is like a golden kind of spindle um, appears out of one of Goldfinger's hands and just basically stabs into Leon, and you feel fantastic. 
<laughs> ah, I feel even more fantastic. I so, uh, so Swede, mark that down in your inventory as one weight, and it is the helm of the ego. Oh my god. Go find the helm of the super ego and the helm of the id. <laughs> yep. Um, does, it, <laughs> does it give me anything? Uh, yeah, it gives you a plus one to rolls where... It, it gives you a plus one to charisma rolls as long as you're not talking. So there you go, that balances out the but if you do, But if you do talk, you take a minus one. Sweet. Wow. Basically, you just have to charade everything to everybody <laughs> for that oh, charisma man. bonus. Oh, man. Also, can I He's try and... Mute. Considering, you know... My guy's treasure hunter wants to return with a great relic for a lot of money. Can I spout law on this, even though I'm probably not going to take it off of Leon? Uh, sure. Let me just... Also, uh, Sweet, you heal 10 HP because of your unicorn helping. Oh, nice. You know, Parby does think it would be in character for Taz to, like, rip that off your head in curiosity, not out of, like, yeah. spitefulness. But it'd be, it's so much more fun to leave that on your head at the moment. <laughs> So I'm gonna break character and not do that right now. You'll Very get it off. Of, you'll get it off eventually. Like the moment you fall over, it'll fall off or something. <laughs> so uh, it's your spouting lore then. Yeah, I get something interesting, yeah. but I have to make it useful. Mm. Uh. You know that uh. Any crown with an enchantment, uh, will gen uh, any crown with y y most crowns with enchantments tend to have the enchantment in the jewels inside the crown rather than the crown itself. Oh, okay. Most of them. It's handy. So if we just get the jewels out, well, we're not going to take the jewels out of it, but okay. All right. So yeah, well done. Uh, you can continue on your way through your perilous journey. And because Senka is such a good navigator, uh, you make good time. That's and uh, the rest of your trip through the mist is uh, without issue. As you arrive in the Acid Moors. Acid Moors. Acid Yes. It's not... Okay. So can Senka comment that that wasn't all that bad? Sure. I'm gonna say out of character, we got off very light. Yep. Like, uh... For fighting a rare class dragon. Yeah, we got <laughs> off pretty well fighting a dragon. I would say the, that... we had a harder time with an incubus. Because you were level one, I scaled down its armor. Uh... Yeah. It, if, if you hadn't been level one, it would have had five armor. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And its damage dice was still a d10 plus three. So, yeah. I'm still here. I'm just going to try and catch up on notes. You guys go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, as you enter the a the Acid Moors, uh, it's just... Well, you know you know what Moors are. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Hallowed, yeah. you know what Moors are, right? I'm going to pretend that I do, but in reality, I'm Googling it right now. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll just send you like a, gen a general uh, idea of what this place looks like. I used uh, to live in some Mars. Here, I put it in the roll 20. Right there. Kind of like that. Uh, the sky has a kind of purple haze to it. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's really uh, small for yeah. some reason. I don't know why. It, it's, fuck. God damn it. I like um, it. Uh, there we go. Here we are. Alright, I'm gonna post it again. There, there, there's a bigger version. No. <laughs> no? That's the same size. Oh, it is? What? Yeah. Wow. Well, whatever. <laughs> Just... It's I a lot of... It's, it's a lot of high grass. Uh, it's, a, it's a little wet. But not too wet. It's not a bog or anything. Uh, there is a lot of vegetation, and there's a general just purple haze above above it all. But yeah, 
you emerge from the mists into the acid moors. What is our final and destination again, just for the note's sake? The Rotten Step. Rotten Step, cheers. And uh, you, you get about this far in, right over here, when night falls. Hmm. It might be time to make camp. Hemp, you say? Camp. So, yeah, night falls. What do you do? Mayhaps we should set up a camp. Fit for a king like myself. <laughs> Senka <laughs> just says, God, Leon, I don't know what it is, but ever since you put on that crown, you're just so goddamn annoying. And it's weird, he hasn't actually changed all that much, it's just worse somehow. <laughs> peasants. <laughs> you just call me a peasant? Well, he's got me down, kind of. <laughs> <sighs> but I... As leader of this band of misfits, I s declare we should set up camp. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> set up camp. I think it kind of rolls her eyes and agrees. Alright. I have adventuring gear. Alright, so if you're setting up camp, then you're setting up camp. Alright, so, uh, decide watch order. Um, of I'll of take course. first watch. <laughs> I'll let everyone else get their beauty sleep. Alright. Yes, need... Senka is a child of the night, so she shouldn't be doing any early morning shifts. So, second watch for you, then? Yeah. Alright, and... I'll take second watch. Leon will take last watch. Got it. Yeah. Very good, very good. Alright, uh, all roll of that. you roll wisdom. I'll roll first. We'll do it in order yeah. of watch, so... Yeah. Not right, terrible. Now Not Senka, great. roll wisdom. Alright, now Leon, roll wisdom. Hmm. Average watches all around. Uh, yeah, you make it through the night just fine. Uh, consumer ration. Uh, you guys and... <laughs> well, hey, they're not doing it in the mist. <laughs> We had uh, bad things happen in the night outside of the mist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, a jewelry box got stolen, how tragic. There was that, like, <laughs> gnome thing, too. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Man, I... that gnome could have killed us. I just got oh. very lucky. It didn't really kill- well, might not have killed It you. might have Def killed us. Definitely would have made you had an orgy, but... Mm. Jesus. And... To Murray, that would have been just as bad. True. So yeah, uh, I sure you hope guys can fighting. all heal damage equal to half your max HP, but only Leon took damage, because of course he I did. I sure hope so. nobody steals my crown during the night <laughs> um, when I'm asleep. Did we use a dungeon ration on the first leg of the journey? We did, didn't we? Uh, yes. You yeah, did. so I got three uses of ration left. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, hello, they've been marking down your rations. I just did. Yeah, yeah, Minus you have three two. uses. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, do, do any of you take Leon's crown off in the middle of the night? You know what? I will give Swede this, uh, like, my curiosity gets the better of me, and I do just kind of, like, pick it up off his head and examine it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but then place yeah. it back on. You feel oddly attached to it now. <laughs> when you pick it up. Roll wisdom. Can I retroactively say I picked it up with a staff? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, let's, let's hope. Lend me your energy. Oh my, what is it about this bloody You crown? place it on your head. And feel like king of the world. I should be the head of the Almond family. I say it's standing up and announcing that to myself. <laughs> no, yeah. Miss. 
No, I just, I just like spend the, the rest of my watch strutting around the camp, just muttering <laughs> to myself about how shit my relatives are. All they right. shouldn't be here. No, I see, be. I really want Swede to wake up, so this can just result in one of these two killing each other. Right. So, uh, Senka, when you uh, are woken up to take second shift, you see Taz has the crown on his head now and is acting pompous and asshole ish. Oi! Your okay. watch! Get up! Get up! <laughs> I'm going to sleep! <laughs> Senka just kind of goes like, Right, right, yeah, my watch, and waits for you to go to sleep, and then, um, can I summon one of my, uh, shadow creatures to take off the crown? Yes, you can! Uh, okay, I do. Alright, so yeah, roll, uh... Wisdom to will it to take off the crown. No, this is so much smarter than what I did. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you get to. I'm assuming you don't want to deal damage to them. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No so damage. your your shadows just don't worry. Your shadow just takes it off without any issue, and uh, places it in I don't know whatever you're, you're carrying stuff in a duffel bag or whatever you have. Oh, so it just puts it in my bag then. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. And then, yeah, you feel no attachment to it, because it has not touched your bare flesh. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Leon, you wake up, and uh, you don't have a crown on anymore. Huh. Does he remember no. anything after he put the crown on? <laughs> no, no, he, he remembers. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, Leon, your voice is so much less grating now. I wonder what that crown went. Oh well. <laughs> uh, actually, only... uh, roll wisdom for me, Leon. Oh, I didn't. Uh, y y you're pretty miffed about not having the crown, but damn it, it may be uh, so good. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered a note. Because I forgot it, and I don't I'm, know I'm not gonna force you to grab it out of her bag or anything. You don't know where it is, so yeah. just yeah, don't worry. Very remember, nip. remember to mark experience on each failure. Yeah, because I've been forgetting oh, to do that up until. Oh now. yes, oh yeah, Hallowed, have you been doing that? Oh wait, no, I don't think. Have you failed yet? I don't think I failed. I, I don't think you failed a single roll yet. So yeah. Nice. Wait, so explain that to me real quick. Uh, if you fail a roll, you know, if you roll a six or below uh, yeah. on one of your stat rolls, or, 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 or if, yeah, anything that's not damage, then you take XP. Wait, you gain XP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, mar you mark an XP for every failed roll. Wow. You're right. failure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but don't worry. If you're doing really well, you'll probably get shit at the end of the session. XP at the end of the session. There's quite a few nice. ways to XP in Dungeon World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, that's a reason to uh, make spout lore checks whenever you feel like it. Gotcha. Uh, it's, it's a well, that's and why below. everyone makes int their worst did, stat. Did, did, <laughs> six and below, like, yeah. Did yeah, that six count? and below, yeah. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, Y'all make it through the night, fine. Hmm, I'll be damned. I wonder where that crown went. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Taz, roll wisdom. Oh yeah, good call. So, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you realize you were acting like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Just wake up. Man, I was an asshole last night. <laughs> but I liked it. <laughs> Felt good. Senka's just like, yeah, you both kind of were. I feel cathartic, though, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I had the weirdest dream. It sounded like someone was complaining about their family. <laughs> no, no, that was... that was me. <laughs> oh. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Long story. Mm. Say, do you oh, think that... Yeah. Say, uh, just look at both of you. Do you think that crown could fetch a good price? I don't think we're wearing it again, wherever it is. Maybe if you find it. Senka says, oh, I'm sure it could. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right. So, uh, yeah, morning has come. Uh, you can. You must now make a new perilous journey check to ver journey through the moors to the rotten step. Are we taking the same roles as before? I'll take scout again. Uh, like if you two are riding on the uh, unicorn. <laughs> Leon is actually this time. You know, little man, you want to ride the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are we taking the same things then? It's up to you guys. I don't mind scouting again, but if you two want to try it. What um, what does scout require? Wisdom. Wis oh, do they all require wisdom? No, it's no. wisdom. Wisdom and wisdom is for scouting and quarter mastery, uh, and navigation is intelligence. Oh, um... I'll take, uh, scouting, then. Alright. Okay, I'm quartermastering. I'm navigating, then. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're uh, using up you two all, rations. You all eat double rations. So, <laughs> mar all of you mark off two rations. <laughs> oh, shit, I only have one ration used. <laughs> Same here! <Yeah. laughs> all of you only have one ration left. Luckily, there's a foraging roll added in Perilous Wilds. We might need yeah. to make use of that. Yeah. All right, you know, so, uh, Hallowed, uh, do you discern a beneficial aspect of the terrain? Do you make a discovery? Do you uh, get the drop on whatever lies ahead? Or do you notice the sign of a nearby danger? Choose two of those. Choose two? Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see. I think I have the thing pulled up. Discoveries somewhere. are super fun, just saying. Okay, well, obviously I have to make a discovery. Um, Hell yeah! Doing perilous journey. Um, the scary. other ones are notice a beneficial aspect of the terrain, get the drop on whatever lies ahead, or uh, you notice a sign of a nearby danger. Um, I'll notice a beneficial aspect of the terrain. All right. Uh, do you want to describe what that is now, or do you want to wait until you've made the discovery? Oh wait, do I have to describe yeah, it? Yeah, you describe it. Oh, can can it just be that there's an abundance of fruit? An abundance of fruit. Edible fruit. Uh yeah, sure. Choice, okay. Yeah, you, you you notice just uh a bunch of wild watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, the, 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 the moors are abundant with watermelons. <laughs> Can I collect some of these watermelons? Uh, in a bit. Let's wait for okay. Snake to get back so we can uh, do your do your discovery. Perfect. I think my discovery was the watermelons. That's no, no. <laughs> Gonna wait for Snake. And Sweet, are you here? Yeah. Yeah, you're here. You're just, you're just you. Yeah. Eric muted his mic. He might still be listening. Who knows? Always assume he is. <laughs> <coughs> Time to check Facebook. I'm checking Tombther. What does Snake leave to do? Is he taking a piss? Maybe. I think he's taking a piss. He's either taking a piss or getting more beer. One <laughs> of the two. Or, or water. I don't want to judge. It might be water. I'm back. Hi. Were you Hello. taking a piss, getting a drink? I was taking a piss. Alright, cool. I was right the first time. Four cups of coffee and a pint of water, yeah. you know? So, uh, ha uh, Hallowed made a, uh, chose to make a discovery and determine a beneficial aspect of the terrain. The beneficial aspect of the terrain was that, uh, there, it is now apparent that the moors are actually abundant in wild watermelons. That is beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of food. Yeah. 
I, I wish it'd take a while to take to you know partake to take some of those. All right, but before that, we're gonna roll her discovery. So, uh, hello, to roll me a three D twelve. Watermelon dragon. <laughs> <laughs> How do I how do I roll a three D twelve? Just slash R three D twelve. The space between the R and the three D twelve. There you go. Yeah. Uh two, eleven, and one. Got it. This should be fun. Ask the fates. Fly around here. All right. Uh, do, do, do. eleven and one. Ah. Uh. Do, 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 do. Me scroll down a bit. Let's get some deets going. All right. Uh, roll me a d12. Hallowed. Roll me. Bam. There you go. An 11. Nice. Uh, ooh. Uh, roll me another d12. Jesus. No. A 2. Huh. Uh, all right. You notice a, uh, you make notice right over here. I will mark it actually with some paint right over here. A geyser. Uh, just, just very regularly, like every five minutes, it just shoots out steaming water. Neat. Yeah. Uh, and you feel a sense of mysticism from it. Scary. Yeah. You draw closer, inspect it. Um, yeah, how do I, how do I, like, in roll an investigative check or whatever? Uh, it's wisdom. Uh, you, that would be a discern reality, is you want to ask me questions about it. Okay, so, I'm going to yeah. Roll wisdom. Okay, and the character sheet... And um, the questions are on the basic right. moves list. Yeah, it's in basic moves, so choose three of those questions. Perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Um, number one. What should I be on the lookout for? Uh, you should be on the lookout for... Uh, You should be on the lookout for uh, whatever magic is in this geyser uh, appearing very suddenly. All right. Um, what here is useful or valuable to me? Uh, the water of the geyser. Interesting. And what here is not what it appears to be? Uh, it's, hmm, the water, the mist, like, surrounding the geyser, it, it's not steam, it's definitely mad, it's, it's definitely some sort of magical, uh, mist around it. Excellent. So do you step even closer? I think, um, I think, um, I want to wait for the party. All right. So, yeah, you call them over. Uh, Taz and, uh, Leon, you see her Senka standing in front of, uh, this geyser. Oh. Um, 
can I relay to them the information that I know? Yeah, yeah. I relay. Right. Hmm. I'll try and spout. I'll try and spout law on this. Uh huh. I've got a backup plan that feels cruel to do. <laughs> no. No. I don't get nothing. But I. All right. So. I, I, so just, I think about it for a second, try and think, have I heard of these before? Do I know? I looked up some stuff about Hemlock before I had to journey off. But failing to know anything, I pull out the crowbar. Alright. Actually, okay, no. Before I throw my spirit into danger, um, I look for like a nearby rock and just kind of like chuck it. Chuck it in. Uh, Alright, you chuck the rock, uh, nothing happens to it. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Okay, well, it doesn't make it explode, so we got that going for us. <laughs> oh. So mistrusting, Snake. It's born of experience. Can I send one of my shadows in? Sure. Okay, I do that. Do I have to roll okay. wisdom? Uh, nah, nah. Um, yeah, your shadow's fine. Okay, perfect. It just kind of walks over, stands yeah. there, looks around, then waves back. Yep. Do you personally walk forward now, Senka? Um, I guess I will. I'll I'll cautiously head forward. All right. Uh, as you step forward, uh, you feel you know the mist of the geyser's water. You know you feel, you know bits of water start hitting your face very gently. It's actually quite pleasant. Uh, and as you walk further forward, you are suddenly struck. With a vision. Uh, you see, like suddenly, like you 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 just have tunnel vision, and you're and you're just like racing forward through the acid moors, into the rotted into the rotten step. You're moving past uh, several uh, zombies and ghosts that aren't paying much attention to you, and uh, you zero in on a graveyard right over here and uh and uh a figure in the graveyard turns around and stares at you and then screams before the and then the vision ends jesus yeah do i pass out for dramatic effect no no it was very <laughs> shocking but yes it was a vision okay um i guess uh i will stumble backwards out of the mist um, uh, that is where the vision took you. Perfect. Probably, probably very out of breath. Um, and just say to the party, I think I know where we're supposed to be going. Oh, excellent. Where? You, you, have, you have a map. You can point to it. I point to the location on the map. Ah, right here. Right there. Oh man, that sounds beautiful. More adventure. <laughs> Leon, on the questioning of how she suddenly knows this. <laughs> uh, Taz, do you have a reaction to that? Sorry, my my it, my mic did not unmute. Very annoying. Nice. But yeah, I was saying, like, I just kind of, like, point at me and Leon and say, well, that, that seems useful. Do you, think, do you think we should maybe step it? Yeah, I'm gonna... I just kind of, like, start walking forward. Walking into the mist myself. Like, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna try the vision machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Da -da -da. You uh, suddenly get tunnel vision. You rush forward to that same graveyard. Uh... But uh, you see a little bit further. Uh, the, vamp the, the 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 figure screams at you. You like go into like a hole, and then like there's a bunch of flashing images before you, and there's a bunch of people in a circle around an altar, uh, all pr all praying, and then the vision ends. Okay, yeah, I also stumble out quite a bit heavier than when I first <laughs> entered. Uh, okay, that was something. And I relay what I saw to the group. Like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, graveyard, bunch of people praying, 
kind of creepy vibe. Uh, we might have we might have uh, put us volunteered for something quite big. <coughs> something big, you say? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> they will tell us stories about this. Leon still unconcerned about the vision geyser. <laughs> 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 also not trying his own vision. Hmm. So what? Ah, perhaps I should jump in there. <laughs> Don't before, literally jump in. Before <laughs> any of you forget, I will just type it down here. Just as okay, a reminder, I'll... vision geyser. But yeah, I'll take a look in the vision geyser. <laughs> what do I see? Uh, let's see, alright, so you step forward, uh, and you see, uh, rushing forward, tunnel vision, uh, rushing out of the rotten step, actually, uh, into some sort of civilization, and you see yourself, uh, you, you, you see yourself, uh, Punching Taz in the face with the crown <laughs> on the floor. <gasps> I sneeze. That wasn't, a... <laughs> that wasn't an interesting vision. <laughs> I saw the crown. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna say it now that I won't hesitate to fight either of you with Goldfinger instead of myself if it <laughs> ever comes to PvP. <laughs> you know, to oh, most yes. people from the outside, it'll just look like a grown man bullying a child. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah, I don't even need to summon Goldfinger, I just need to shame him. You just need to start crying. <laughs> Two rotten steps we go. What do you? What do you? What does Leon take away from that vision of him punching Taz in the face? <laughs> he probably. Hmm. Ah, intrigue. This will make for good stories. <laughs> the great fable told about Leon Aeons from now about how he punched a halfling in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, where's Eric? He's not here to enjoy this. Eric's dead. He is. Probably very dead. Alright, so yeah, you guys can move forward. Uh, oh, and, I, and now you know where you're going. Can we start to, can you start to just pull this direction to ending it soon? Uh, a bit short, but uh, I, mean, I guess it is pretty I'm just, late for I'm you. just saying it would end the hour. Uh, yeah, within the hour, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Again. We're, we're going to have one encounter, and then we're going to get to the location, and then we'll end of session. How about that? We'll Good. have Good. it on a cliffhanger right outside the graveyard. Sounds Exciting. Good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, as you, you enter the rotten step, uh, the vegetation... Oh, did you, you gathered watermelons, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we'll just say that you each have one watermelon. Mm. Uh, the, 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 each one watermelon is two weight for three uses, we'll say. Wait, so a watermelon is two, two weight, weight for... three uses. So okay. in place of dungeon rations, you can eat out of your watermelon. Gotcha. Alright, so yeah. Uh, as you enter the rotted step, uh, the vegetation all turns gray. Uh, everything just seems dead, and there's a just putrid stench in the air. Hmm. Uh, Not much of a welcoming area. Yeah. Well, that sounds about right for a place called the Rotten Step. Yeah. Can't now say they were in then. Here. Yeah, so you move forward, you know, now, you know, probably more carefully. I want all of you to roll wisdom. Uh... Jeez, a 13. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, uh, Taz and Senka, you noticed some. Y you noticed some apparitions uh, circling in on you, four, to be exact. I don't like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. Would be in fellowship. Yep, uh, they all, like, simultaneously, spontaneously morph into several different animals, uh, before taking on a general human form and rush, and they rush in. What do you guys do? Um, summon. <laughs> Alright. Summon. Throw my own ghost at them. <laughs> Alright, so you have your two shadow people, definitely. Uh, you... Call out Goldfinger, no problem. Uh, Leon, you're a bit confused as to why they're suddenly popping into action. Oh my! Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> We're not betraying you, don't worry! Spirits! <laughs> There's spirits coming after us, can't you see them? Can I see uh, them? Leon, roll wisdom again. I, actually, you know what, Leon, uh, a... Okay, yeah. Uh, a fog morph. Uh, oh, I use their bestiary name. Oh no! But whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, one of the apparitions uh, rushes rushes you. Uh, what do you do? You have barely enough time to respond. I'll say just because they called you out. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dodge hardcore. All right, go ahead, roll dex. Nope. Got that. You, uh, you just feel like you like you feel like an otherworldly force just push into you with just a surprising amount of oomph. Oh no, I'm getting possessed again. <laughs> Take uh eight damage. Oi. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the uh, others circle around Senka and Taz, the other three. Okay, I think it's, um, well, I'm going to start making commands now. So, what I kind of do is, um, Goldfinger has the amorphous tag, so that's basically like all the flying bits of like metal and gold and jewelry and such. Uh-huh. So I'm kind of, this is only for real, really the fiction, it might help me with some Defy Danger roles in the fiction, but... I kind of form a bit of a bubble out of, like, the flying pieces of gold and jewelry and such. Alright. And from there, I am going to tell I'm commanding um, Goldfinger to attack. Alright. So, 2d6 plus 2. Goldfinger. It fails. Ooh. Want to miss, lose one pact. So, yeah, it's not obeying you. It does not move anything forward. Hmm. All right, Senka, what do you want to do? Um, first off, uh, is there like any like darkness or shadow, or is it nighttime? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun's uh, starting to go down. There's some stark shadows around. Okay. Some can... shadows of dead trees. First off, um, can I step into one of the shadows um, to use stay out of the light? so that um, I cannot be... When you hide in the shadows or darkness without acting, you cannot be detected uh, by any normal means. No, no, no. These things are... You're already, like, in combat with these okay. things. They see you already. They'll see you step into the shadow. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'll just um, have my, my shadow friends attack them. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll wisdom. Oh, you finally... Made a failed roll. <laughs> uh, all right, nothing particularly bad happens. Just they 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 don't like obey you. Oh. So take take an XP. So right, just one plus XP. one. Yeah. Just all right, exciting. Click, click up on your XP thing. Uh, yeah, one of the fog morphs moves to attack Taz. Okay, so. Um, the, I'm going to defy, first I'm going to defy danger by dodging, essentially. Like, there right. is a mass of, 
you know, knives, cutlery, gems, and coins, kind of flying around me, kind of making it harder for it, and I'm just basically juking and jiving within my bubble to kind All of right. avoid strikes. So let's... Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, you can avoid taking damage, but the apparition will seize something from your inventory. I'll take that at the moment. These things seem hefty on damage. Yeah, it uh, takes your ritual staff. Okay, so it's taken my crowbar, essentially. No. Oh no, sorry, ritual staff. staff. Yeah, yeah, I forgot it's called yeah. the ritual staff. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Senko, one of them moves in to attack you. Um, I guess, uh, I will dodge out of the way. Alright, roll dexterity. Yeah, absolutely, you dodge out of the way. Perfect. Alright, now do any of you three want to attack? Yes. Oh yes, I'm definitely gonna attack these All fucking right. apparitions. Uh, we'll let Senka go first, cause she just dodged the thing, so it may um, be a counterattack. Okay, I'm going to... Um, stab it with my dagger. Absolutely. All right, that's a precise weapon, so roll dex. All hey, right. Dagger. All right, you'll de deal your damage. Uh, roll your d6. I mean, I mean your damage dice. All right, yeah. Uh, and it gets to attack you. So yeah, you rush in. Uh, you definitely do feel like you you do make an impact. These things aren't completely intangible, and your weapons do have an effect on them. And uh, you also take two damage. Perfect. Um. But that damage ignores armor. So, yeah. So I take three? No, 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 no. It's just that you take two damage. Your armor does oh, not absorb okay. one of the damage. Armor in this game is just straight damage reduction. Yeah. Okay. Unless it ignores. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Can I also okay. have one of my shadow, my shadow people attack? Uh, first, let's have Leon do something. Okay. Okay. I'll go attack the nearest apparition with my... With my uh, cutl, my rapier. All right, go ahead. All right, all your damage. <laughs> I'm Jesus gonna Christ. have to help Leon in a second. Yeah. Uh, take two damage. Yeah, you trade blows. You trade pitiful blows. <laughs> all right, I do. I do order. My pact, I do order Goldfinger to try healing Leon, because he took a hefty chunk of damage at the start of this. Yeah. He's on 10 HP. Alright, yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll just say the seam is helping him. Okay. So yeah, uh, fucking... What's uh, his control? What's your, uh, the seam is plus two, so yeah, you got a plus two to this how far, how far <laughs> there you go yeah you get you take five oh no no it's yeah three hp you heal three hp um i do Leon. actually want to say just for this uh, does the fact that i have the near tag also apply to my like healing ability yes oh, okay yes. yeah so tendril shoots out and just basically stabs leon partly through the fight <laughs> to heal him <laughs> yeah all right so yeah uh senka you can now use your shadows to attack okay roll we're gonna with do them. that All right. So, what do you choose? Uh, you can choose two of them now. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do, um, the class damage with um, reach and forceful. Um, and I'm going to do uh. The D4 damage, but I regain the same amount Ooh, of hit points. Nice. All right. So uh, for that, uh, roll a. So this is going to be an interesting roll because you had a ten, so you're taking a plus one to this damage, and you're dealing an additional D4 on top of it. So instead of rolling your, instead of clicking your damage dice, uh, type in slash R, uh, D6 plus D4 plus one. Jesus. Yeah. Mm. 
Nice All save. right, yeah. Uh, you just get annihilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like annihilate like th this apparition. It just disperses into nothingness with a shrill, sh with a shrill scream. Perfect. And uh, yeah, you heal two HP off of that. Beautiful. There you go. Uh, all right. So, uh, who wants to act? Taz, Leon. I'll act. I'm gonna try attacking one of them. All right. So let's get Goldfinger striking. It's very dangerous of me to do this actually, because if I fail, then I can. All right, ten. All right. Never mind. So yeah, it's basically, Goldfinger strike and fly out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna twat at the one the one that was trying to attack me. Um, Alrighty. this attack is basically several of the knives that are, like, flying around me just kind of stop in midair, turn, and homing attack on the apparition. Alright. And nail it for seven Absolutely. damage. Absolutely. The apparition, uh, disperses with a shrill, sh with a shrill scream. There you go, there are two Perfect. of them left. Alright, we can handle this. Alright, Leon, what do you do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna attack one of these apparitions again. I do, I don't like them. I'm gonna attack the one you were trading blows with. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Didn't deal your damage. Uh. All right. Yeah. That's on top of the one you dealt before. Uh. The spirit is visibly uh weakened. It's kind of like struggling to hold itself together, but it is still, it it, it is still uh you know. It is still a threat, and it is going to uh, rush you again, Leon. What do you do? Um, this time I'm gonna dodge it again. Alright, roll X. Okay, uh, you can dodge it, but it will smack Taz in the face. Sure. Nice. Of course, of course. Uh, Taz, you take four damage, ignoring armor. <laughs> he, he did, Leon didn't see that Taz was behind him. So, yeah. Take you, you just you just get blindsided, Taz, and take four damage. Yep, I'm knocked to the ground in my ghost bubble, my spirit yep. bubble, Goldfinger bubble. Yep. All right, who wants to act now? You know, I'm gonna attack that thing that uh, that I dodged now. Just all right, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Stab it from, stab it from Double up. All right, roll your damage. Uh, I'll be nice. Yeah, you uh, kill it before it can strike you back. It no. just. There's one of them left. Who wants to take it on? Who wants um, this? Senka? You know what? I'll, I'm going to aid or interfere with this, because we don't have bonds, so I'm just going to put myself in danger for someone. Alright, so slash 2d6, flat. Well, let's decide who's attacking it first, see who I'm aiding and or interfering with. Um, I'll attack it, because my shadow people have all sorts of range. Okay, so... Basically, I'm going to try and set you up for this. Basically, Goldfinger is going to try and hold it in place while you go for the All strike. Right. Cool. I arms fly out, uh, nab at it. Flat, flat 2d6. Uh, <laughs> no. no. I don't know what happens. I don't remember what happens on a failure, but... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be kind. Nothing. Uh, so yeah, uh, just so yeah, roll wisdom. Senka. There you go. You can make it do one thing. Choose one. Um... Usual class damage with um, reach or near, whichever one it requires, and uh, messy to be dramatic. All right, uh, messy doesn't have much of an effect on these things. They are forceful. Then, yeah. Uh, all right, uh, roll your damage. Ooh, yeah, you. Uh, Basically, yeah, your shadow basically just stomps on it, uh, <laughs> mashes it into the ground, and uh, it like struggles to float off the ground. And it is set up for another attack. Whoever wants to uh, rush in on it. Um, you know what? While we're killing ghosts with ghosts, and because Swede wasn't fast enough, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. Um. Okay. So I finally got a seven. So, you know what? Let's go with the fun one. 
your spirit misinterprets the command or executes it a little too vigorously. So basically, I just command t just full throttle attack on the remaining okay. spirit. Okay, uh, we'll just make this flavor. Uh, okay. Roll, roll, we'll first off, roll your damage. Uh, Alright, yeah. So essentially, it just throws a bunch of shit at it and also tears up Senka's shadow creature. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the pets are fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, I have two. So there you are, the apparitions are defeated. Nice. Yeah. Take a take a rest, Goldfinger, as I crowbar all for it to fly back into. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh. So you guys can just make your way to that cemetery now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You wanna do some other stuff? Um. Man. I'm gonna. I do actually. All right. I. Is there any, like, ectoplasm or leavings from the apparitions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there's some, uh, odd s s residue. I ask, um, uh, I ask, uh, uh, Leon, can I borrow one of those flasks, mate? I say, pointing at the adventuring gear in the metagame note. <laughs> Damn. Sweet. Yeah? He asked you a question. Uh, sorry. So I just had to check something. Uh, what did you say? I ask if I can borrow some flasks because you got adventuring gear and I don't. Yeah, sure. Here. Yeah, I I um like scoop up some of the ectoplasm, basically seal it and keep it. It might come in handy. Okay. All right. Um, Leon just goes, "Mighty interesting spirit you got there." Yeah, it's uh, interesting discovery. I can tell you a story of it one day if you'd like. Yes, I'm very interested how it stands by you, protecting you, fights with you, like, hmm. It's because I know. have, it basically obeys whoever has this. I say as I kind of like, um, pull out the crowbar. Found it on an expedition back in Grenheit, a few years back. I'm interested to see, actually, I should be getting spirits from the, from Hemlock. Considering I opened it here, but... Uh, you're not going to like me saying this, but back in that dragon there, that's the first time I tried this out properly. Hmm. <laughs> but no, this is an Wait, old... Wait, so how did you know anything? I, I actually didn't. It just... <laughs> I was leaving in a hurry and I just grabbed the... I just grabbed what seemed to be most useful on this journey and... To be honest... I shouldn't have taken it. It's not illegal that I've taken it. Let's just say that. But, you know, it worked. <laughs> I guess that's all that matters. Oh, and I also recollect my ritual stuff. Yeah. Um, vial of ectoplasm. Is that going to have weight, or is that just... Nah, nah. Okay. So, without any further business, you guys uh, arrive at the... A foot of the graveyard with an ominous feeling on all three of you. You know this is your destination, but you have only the faintest clue of what awaits you. End session! Oh. There There's we go. There's a screaming man waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> screaming. Alright, so yeah, uh, let's do end of session now. Uh, have you guys been writing bonds? Have you been doing that? I, have not, I was thinking of bonds, but I haven't written anything down right. yet. Uh, who has ideas for bonds? I have one for Leon. Senka's a bit. Senka, I'm what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Same. Mm. Like uh, Leon is essentially Leon talks a big game, but he can back it up if he's going to be in a party with me. However, he's going to need to step in line, tone it down. Right. That sounded way more aggressive than I meant. Yeah, to. yeah. Essentially, <laughs> you know what so I mean? What is... Like not rush off into danger. Yeah. Senka, you, you, have you thought of any bonds for Leon and Taz? Um, I've kind of thought of one for Leon because he seems very, um, he's very, very full of himself a bit. And um, Senka is very much so used to being above everyone. So she's, I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it in that like fancy bond language that exists. Essentially, um, Leon needs to learn his station. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Leon acts uh, like Leon acts like he's above me. You know, I'll need to show him that I am, you know, above his station, or however you want to phrase it, or how aggressive you want to make it. Oh, okay, okay. I have, I have a good one because I looked in the book. And I Maybe like action. Leon is obnoxious. He doesn't know. Uh, he he doesn't realize how above him I truly am. Something like that. <laughs> Sense a little Dark Lord of the Sithy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, Leon, what what do you have? So this is it, how I interpret it, but. The... Here's one. Is someone I can, can rely on to make me look good and act like the a person. I interpret this with Taz like it's in, oh man, you know, he he can clearly help. He, he's clearly so pathetic. I make I look even better. <laughs> so <laughs> your fun with Taz is that he's so small and nerdy, he makes you look better by comparison. Wow, yes. what a jock. Nice, <laughs> nice. Do you have a bond for Senka? Um, uh, not really. Um, I got, I figured out my bonds, but yeah. Actually, oh my god, I have an idea because I I just saw one of the template one. Yeah. Realizes just how great I am. God, no. Oh my god, no, 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 okay, no, actually, actually, the task one, I'm gonna change it to, okay, here's a, here's a, okay, task, I'm, I have a perfect one, needs education on this hearing business, and I will provide it whether they want it or not. Alright, <laughs> and, oh fact, wait, I think I got one for Taz as well. Alright, what's yours fact, for Taz? Um, let's see, um, Again, I don't know how to phrase it nicely. Um, Taz is... Um, it seems like he is uh, useful to to the party and to Senka. Um, and she, she appreciates that. But also she's a little um, intimidated by his, you know, Curiosity. magic whole ripping oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. reality thing. That yeah. would make sense. With your backstory, so, yeah, I'm just casually tearing holes in yeah. the fabric of reality. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. He, I would I would write that down as uh, Taz is uh, good for uh, I I appreciate Taz's contributions to the party, but uh, his magic intimidates me. That would be a good way to write that down. Perfect. All right. Uh, have you come up with one for Senka, Leon? Uh are you still thinking of it? Give me a sec. Do you, want me right, to, uh... do you want me to go ahead? No, wait, I have it. Okay. Alright, cool. Okay, here's one. Shenka doesn't seem to understand how great I am. I need to ha I'll have to show them. Alright, I'll have to show Alright. Uh, Senka's a her. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. No, I just yeah. time. Type them. Yeah. Because... Yeah. It's more uh, presumptuous that way. Yeah. All right. Uh. So. All right. What does Taz have for Senka? All right. For Senka. Um. Senka handles herself well for what seems her first excursion. She seems more versed with her spirits than me. I could learn from her, and in return, teach her how to handle the wilds. All right. Oh. That, that 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 sounds like. <laughs> An erotic story for Seth sounds like like the beginning of an erotic novel. Oh Teacher no! Teacher the wild. Okay, okay, guys. Wilds. I have a question though. Does anyone have a bond with my magnificent hearse with the horn? <laughs> no. Um, anyway, as one. for as for my um bond with Leon, Leon talks a big game, but he can back it up. In a proper expedition, he would only get hurt. He would only get in trouble. However, I need to teach him some common sense. Alright. Very good, very good. 
And Senka, do you have a bullshit bond for the unicorn? Yeah. Um, yeah. Senka does not believe that it's actually a unicorn. Alright. Yeah, insulted. you can just write that down as a bullshit flavor bond. It's fine. It won't count towards uh, whatever limitations I want to place on that. Just go wild. What's the, okay, what was the name so... of the unicorn again? Nassim. Nassim. Yeah. No idea how to So. Uh, it's it's in his bio. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, nice. Now let's go over da -da -da -da. alignments. Uh, we'll start with Taz. Did you learn something, occultists? I don't think Did I learn learned something? something that really is like I didn't learn anything. My character didn't seemingly already know. Like as like oh, oh I knew about that cult of vampires. We went through the mist, but we didn't encounter anything. We learned about the crown. You Jordan, didn't encounter the... anything in the mist? What? <laughs> we didn't encounter anything in the mist that I feel would count towards it. Like, the gold, the giant golden dragon. That dispersed into nothingness after you defeated it. And left the crown behind. Do you feel that counts? It's a relic. I, th I, got think, a relic that counts. From it. I think that counts. Alright. I did study the crown as well. I spout yeah, on it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, uh, Senka, did you use your shadow magic to further a selfish goal at a cost? I don't. I don't think I did. Nah, nah. You were mostly just helping out with combat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that might pay out in the next session, though, with uh, regards to leaving Tensus. So you know, keep that in mind. All right. Keep that in mind next session. Uh, and uh, Leon, did you get out of your? Did you go out of your way to show off your skills? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, you <Yeah>. did. <laughs> You ran charging into a, dr a rare dragon. So yeah, Taz and Leon mark XP for alignments fulfilled. Uh, and now we answer these three questions as a group. Okay, class, did we learn something new and important about the world? I learned a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Land in the Mist isn't as bad as me and Eric know it is. Yeah. There's, uh, you learned about vampire cults and all that. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. We met, the, right, we take, met Bradley. Yeah. We know the take an XP for that. Uh, did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Yes. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, the greed demon. That was a greed demon. Okay. Yeah. Agreement, if you will. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all right, mark an XP for that. Did we loot a memorable treasure? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the the ego crown, definitely. Uh, mark an XP for that, and take and mark an XP for playing, just for just for showing up. Participation trophy. There you go. I'm nice. level two. And I will bump up my charisma with one yeah. again. I don't think Senka got to level up because she never failed. She only failed <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, wait, so we, we don't get XP for forming bonds, only for resolving them, o right? Only for advancing them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we uh, didn't get any XP But you one. won't take an XP for advancing a bond with, like, the unicorn. That That's that, that's <laughs> why it's called the bullshit bond. Oh, no, I know. Um, yeah. But wait, no, so... You won't take get XP to... for advancing uh, a bond with, an NP with, with a player character. Do I get two XP? Yes or no? Uh, what do you mean two XP? No, no, for, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Okay, that's all I need. Yeah, know. you gained four XP from end of session. Okay, perfect. So you're at five out of eight. So next session you'll probably level up, unless yeah. like we have the most boring session ever and you never fail. 